Welcome to all. In this video, we will see about the nutritional requirements in plant tissue culture. The ingredients present in the nutrient medium is the most important for the plant tissue culture. The medium generally contains recommended proportion of inorganic salts and based on necessity organic additives are added to provide the nutrients and opti optimal physical conditions such as pH osmolarity of the nutrient medium which are favorable for in vitro culture. In the early period 1865 NOPS medium is developed that consisting of mineral solutions and widely used and mostly failed in achieving the regeneration process. Later in 1939 Gothard developed a callous culture medium from Uspensky and Uspensky nutrient solutions in 1925 and later year the major achievement is in 1962 Murashij and Skoog made a systemic study of mineral requirements of the plant tissue cultures of organs in, in vitro culture and they proposed the medium is called MS medium. In addition Linsmeyer and Skoog, Vasiland, Hildebrand and niche and niche medium also formulated later which are widely used for in vitro plant tissue cultures. Among these medium Murashij and Skoog popularly known as MS medium is most commonly used for several in vitro techniques. The nutrient composition in the nutrient medium. A standard basal medium consisting of a balanced mixture of macronutrients and micronutrients which are necessary for the plant growth. Usually salt of chlorides, nitrates, sulfates, phosphates and iodides of the calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, iron, zinc and boron are used and carbon source the sugars consisting carbon are used and for in addition some of the plant extract are uh, biotic extracts such as vitamins, phytohormones and organic additives are used at small quantity. The essential components include the inorganic nutrients and organic nutrients like carbohydrates and phytohormones etc. The optional components are um, organic additives like natural extract and liquid endosperm that is coconut water also used in certain cases. Now we will see about the inorganic salt requirements. So the we know the macro elements and elements consisting of NPK and calcium, magnesium, sulfur for the plants. So we have to supplement these nutrients as in the form of inorganic salt. Then the micro elements such as iron, boron, zinc, molybdenum, copper, iodine and cobalt also essential for the plant biochemical functions as well as some metabolic process. So these are also added as an inorganic salt and generally macro elements sub added at millimolar concentration and micro elements added at micromolar concentrations. And organic supplements such as carbohydrates, vitamins and phytohormones are added and we will see about the major macro elements. First one is nitrogen. Nitrogen is supplemented up to 25 to 60 millimolar concentration in the tissue culture medium and it have two kinds of nitrogen. One is ammonical form and another one is nitrate form. So NH4 or NO3 based salt combinations are used and if we use excess NH4 or ammonical form that can decrease the pH below 5 in the nutrient medium that makes the plants unable to uptake the nutrients from the soil. So we have to avoid excessive use of harmonical form. Usually we add equal proportion or major proportion of nitrate based nitrogen salt. And organic acids such as malate, succinate, citrate and fumarate also added as a nitrogen supplement. And second macro element is phosphorus. Phosphorus is added in the nutrient medium up to 2 millimolar and generally excess phosphate inhibit the plant growth so we have to make sure it is it should not exceed more than 2 millimolar and beyond the nutrient supplement it also act as a buffering agent in the nutrient medium to maintain the pH. Another macro element is potassium. The nitrate salts up to 20 millimolar is added as a potassium supplement and generally low, no, low nitrogen and high potassium enhance the somatic embryogenesis and somatic embryogenesis medium is prepared by considering this fact. Sulfur. So sulfur is added up to maximum of 3 millimolar and minimum of 1 millimolar in the nutrient medium. 
of sulfate or sulfur containing amino acids like cysteine and methionine and glutathione calcium calcium is added up to 3 millimolar and generally calcium and magnesium have antagonistic effect and the high cons presence of high concentration of one salt necessitates the necessitate necessitates the in increased amount of another salt magnesium so magnesium also added up to 3 millimolar and we have to consider the concentration of calcium before adding the magnesium in the nutrient solution now we will see about micro elements the first one is copper and cobalt are generally added up to 0.1 micromolar and another elements such as iron and molybdenum added up to 1 milli 1 micromolar iodine is supplemented up to 5 micromolar zinc is added 5 to 30 micromolar and manganese is added up to 90 micromolar boron is added up to 25 to 100 micromolar so these micro elements have profound effect on the growth and produce toxic effect at high concentrations so we have to add only at optimum level of this kind of micro elements the iron is supplemented as chelated edta complex since it have toxic effect the availability of the iron is reduced at high ph due to the precipitation of iron and in general the growth can be achieved by reducing the concentrations of micro elements up to 10% to enhance for the enhanced growth and next we will see about organic nutrients so generally carbohydrates should be present in the nutrient medium up to 3 to 5% in general sucrose is widely used the carbon source and osmolite during autoclave process or sterilization process the sucrose hydrolyzed into usable, usable sugar uh, so sucrose is highly preferable carbohydrate source and alternative source are glucose fructose etc and vitamins the universal vitamin thiamine or b1 is widely added in all the tissue culture nutrient mediums in addition based on the necessity other vitamins such as b6 nicotinic acid b3 and calcium pentothenate b5 are added and phytohormones so phytohormones are organic compounds other than the nutrients which influence the growth and differentiation and multiplication of plant cells and organs etc so most commonly used phytohormones are auxins and cytokinins the examples for auxins are iaa iba naa and 24d iaa stands for indole acetic acid iba stands for indole butyric acid naa stands for naphthalene acetic acid and 24d generally these auxins are prepared at ppm level and dissolved in ethanol or dilute nao dilute in nao mild nao with solution for the preparation of stock solutions the cytokinins examples are benzyl aminopurine vap kinetin zeatin and 2ip generally cytokines are dissolved in diluted hcl or naoh to make the stock solutions from there it is added to primary nutrient medium in addition to auxins and cytokinins rarely some other growth regulators also used these hormones are gibberellin popular gibberellin is ga3 it is used for developmental purpose and ethylene is added in somatic embryo medium and abscisic acid is added for morphogenesis so and somatic embryogenesis brassinosteroids added for shoot elongation jasmonates added to induce the differentiation polyamines added for growth performance and salicylic acid added to reverse the aba effect so generally salicylic acid and aba are function opposite in the tissue culture medium now we will see another organic additives the amino acids such as glutamine and asparagine are added in certain tissue culture medium for specific developmental progress and nitrogen bases like adenines also added the nucleotides are added and organic acid citrate malate succinate and pure fumarate also added in certain cases natural extract coconut water Uh, that is called liquid endosperm and tomato or orange juice these are sterilized and added in the nutrient medium it is better to avoid this kind of natural extract since 100% can come nutrient composition or mineral composition is unknown so we cannot predict which factor perform the growth or developmental effect in addition casein hydrolysate yeast extract and malt extract also added and potato extract is generally added in cereal anthraculture techniques 
so these are all the nutrient requirements for the digiculture medium now we will see the physical forms of the medium generally the media is prepared in two condition one is solid medium and another one is liquid medium so in solid medium we will see the advantages so generally we add up to 0.8 percent agar melt it and cool down it becomes semi solid condition is called solid medium the key advantages the explants are easily seen and recovered no special aeration is required shoots grow more orderly and long term maintenance is possible and use simple containers and it can occupy little space in the tissue culture room the key disadvantages of solid medium is the slower rate of rate of multiplication and limited surface of explant is in contact with the medium now we will see about the liquid medium so in liquid medium it exists as a liquid uh, the key advantages the callus cells are used to establish a fine suspension cell culture and faster rate of multiplication is achieved and greater surface of the explants is in contact with liquid medium and toxic metabolites will be effectively be dispersed and neutralized the key disadvantage is the recovery is difficult and growth is disoriented in liquid medium and the seeds would, would not germinate in the liquid medium the protocoms and plantlets become brown and dry the seeds submerged will show vitrification effect some of the other factors the ph of the medium is plays key role in the plant development and nutrient uptake generally plants grow well in ph 5.8 to 6 under in vitro conditions the higher ph also harden the agar and less ph prevent the solidification of agar if we go for semi solid nutrient medium and gelling agent usually 0.8 to 1% agar is widely used in addition alternatives are gelatin silica gel acrylamide gel and starch copolymers also used and generally 1% activated charcoal is added to absorb toxic substances in certain cases of phenolic and tannin components and next factor is osmotic pressure so we have to add stabilizer stabilizers of osmotic pressure such as sorbitols and mannitols and sucrose fructose galactose etc so these agents are called as osmoticums so this will maintain the osmotic balance so that plants can successfully intake the nutrients from the nutrient medium now we will see the commonly used tissue culture medium the ms medium known as murashij and skug medium discovered in 1962 widely used for monocots and dicots and linsmeyer and skug medium discovered in 1972 also used for monocots and dicots and b5 otherwise known as gamberg medium discovered in 1969 used for soybean cell suspension culture hydrophonics and certain other protoplast cell cultures and sh medium snack and hilden brand in 1972 and it is used for monocots dicots and mostly used for legume plants and wpm developed by lloyd and mccown in 1980 used for propagation of ornamental shrubs trees and commercial crops and n6 medium and yen yen mediums are widely used for anthraculture techniques thank you